Okay, day everybody, welcome back. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm in my studio. I just had to tidy everything up because I've got so much new stuff uh, to to put on shelves. So anyway, let's let's talk about that while I'm working. I've got um, an old canvas. This is an old old one, but it's still good. It hasn't warped or anything. So I'm going to do something and. Uh, I would like you to join me and see what I'm going to do. So I've just got some uh, gesso primer. This is black gesso and I'm just using my hand just to paint it a little bit on the edges to tidy it up. And I'm actually going to leave these in there because it's going to uh, serve as uh, a bit of a, uh, whatchamacallit, extra, extra strength, you know. So I'm just going to go around with my black gesso here. The idea is, and I want to do a few of these and then mount them on, onto one big piece, like turn it into one big piece. Um, I want to create a geode like, like a real kind of geode. So I need that depth. It's not too deep. It's only about uh, one, one and a half centimeters, which is what is that? That's um, about one and a half an inch, maybe a bit bigger than half an inch. And uh, I'm going to fill it with gems and kind of build it up to look like really like a real. Um, geode so that's what i'm doing i'll be back once i've uh, painted this hole all the edges okay so my little canvas is drying over here and it's so exciting to work now do some artwork because everything's in its place and i'll tell you what i do this every couple of months and it's still i still manage to mess up everything and i think especially when i get my new stock and because it's a bit cold you know i like to do it sort everything out in in the studio rather than my shed which is quite cold but today has been such a warm day anyway what went in here is a little bit of pva wood glue and a splash of water i'm going to just make a little paste and i'm going to add where is it oh geez okay it was right in front of me the whole time so i've got my little plaster of Paris you can use any old thing that's gonna harden and give you the result that you need for your texture so put you away and just give this a little stir so I need to add some more oh that's pretty good I just like to give it a really good stir pretty good but it's a little bit on the thin side I want it to be quite thick and that's going to have to dry so what I'm going to do now is um, add some crushed quartz this stuff that you normally use in the garden but it's uh, it's going to be good for here because I want some of that or the, the little rocks you know the little bumps and give that a stir now I think I want to add some more in there so the first one is going to be the one I learn on and of course like I was saying before in my videos I wake up some nights lately I've been waking up at night and I can't sleep and it doesn't help that I start thinking about my next projects and I have to go through every single scenario in my head and uh, which keeps me awake so that's what I do but sometimes things work in your head but they don't really work um, in reality okay so that is nice and thick that's great great and it's going to thicken up even more let me just okay i'll grab my little 
Okay, so it's still a little bit wet, doesn't matter. Let me get my little trusty spatula here. Clean my spoon. Get all that goodness off. And just give it a really good stir. So, ideally, like I said, I want to do a few of these. I'm just going to slop it down there. I want to do a few of them and then um, put them together. Put them together so it sort of works like, like a piece of art. So I'm just going to do this now. Just go around and around. Um, and then I'll be back. But like this is going to be fairly heavy. I was going to use some newspaper or any any old paper and um, do a paper mache thing. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh dear. Oh. No, nah, maybe not. <laughs> Just it was a teaser. Oh, anyway, because pa paper mache is is nice and light, so it works really well but i just think it's going to take longer to dry but we'll we shall see won't we so. and build it up build it up build it up If I want to make some sort of a, like a shape, I might want to add some more down here. Don't worry about the colour, I will actually paint that again. bit kind of like rounded a little bit and then I'm going to be putting those nice gems inside I might as well use the whole thing yeah I don't think I'm going to be doing this for the next one it's just I think it's using too much I'm trying to get you to save although plaster of Paris is is quite cheap let's see let's see what happens okay so I'm just lifting this over a little bit because I think I put a little bit too much in there and I want my gems in there you know what I mean so it's starting to look to me like I'm uh, trying to create an igneous rock it's just like a crystallized rock with all these beautiful shimmery crystals in there. And we can even go, oh, wow, that feels heavy already. Yep, I don't think the next one's going to be like this, but you can have this just on its own. But I'm thinking if I'm going to be adding more sort of paintings like this, even like three, I, I reckon it will be a bit too heavy. So, yes. There's quite a bit in there and I'll probably put a little bit too much in there. So I will scrape some out. I just wanted to cover the sides. Oops, this side hasn't been done. Just a little bit on the side, not too much. Just to give me a little bit of uh, roughage. And the bottom doesn't matter. Remember, we're going to do something with the bottom so I think I'm gonna go around and get some of this and uh, I don't need that much I want a little bit of space there for my gems you know would be ideal to put the gems in now so they can set in and I might even think of which one to use but I do want to paint this I should have, see that's another thing, I should have painted it uh, while it's wet and I might even be able to do that now actually. Just going to go around with black or grey rather. But if I use black it will 
end up being a grey, so I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to do that. Go get some paint on my hands. All right, I've got some black paint. Oh, if I can get it out, be great. Give it a good squeeze. All right, there you go. That's all I need. Just going to rub it and just go like this. And stop moving, please. There we go. So I'm going to go around, oopsie, keep doing that until I am happy with it. That's looking pretty rustic. I like it. Uh, let me go and wash up and wash my, my little dish here. And I'll be back. Okay, so for now, don't mind the dog. I just want to go around with some crushed glass and just hoping that it would actually stick while this is still wet. You can't really see a lot going on. But that's what I am doing in the middle. I haven't even decided what to do there. Hmm. Let's see. Just gonna go around in a circle. Like that. You can't see anything right now. Well I can't see anything right now and I hope I hope that it'll work out. All right, so now I'm going to go around with some grey moonstone and I'm just going to rearrange it in the bottom here. So I'm just, this is not going to be hard to do. But I want sort of quite a bit of it. Oh, it turned into a real circle. All right, so that much, oh, about, so about 30 grams went in there. Maybe a little bit more over here. Doesn't look like much now, but I I have seen it. I have seen it in my head, so it should work out. So I'm just going to go around and press it against that um, plaster there, just so it kind of sticks on there. Somewhere more, somewhere less. And um, okay, so then I've decided, I've just decided this, so this wasn't in my mind. So I've decided to just go around. Oh, that's not going to stick. Okay, let me just make it stick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, let's get a little bit of PVA glue around here. Okay. Okay, so I've got my PVA glue now. And I'm just going to do like a line around here, try to dodge the... Alright, so now that I've done that, now I can grab my tweezers just to hold it in my hands. I'm looking for already crushed up little bits. Now, I could do this already easy enough to just crush it all up in a bit of resin to do it, but I think I just want to get into it and make it look like oh look at that nice just a little bit there we go then I'm gonna go around with some um, mica flakes which are really really adorable and really shimmery and nice so there's that put that there and I might even just get some up here just for the fun of it you know if I can get it off be great all right so now that I've done that get some more PVA glue put it everywhere we will be adding more oh get off now Move you over here. Okay. 
Okay, so here we go. Beautiful, look at that. And then resin's going to go over the top of that. So this stuff, it's really flaky. Which is natural because they are flakes. Oh, they're so nice. Super nice. And then I'm going to move them. Just trying to split them a little bit. And then, like I said, I'm going to add some more crystal in the middle. Let me move these guys out a little bit. So I want them to be seen. I don't want to be covered. So there we go. So now tidying up a little bit. too bad and hold on lots of crushed glass and if I had the, the bigger crushed glass would be better but I don't so I just want to fill in this area like that maybe go around a bit more with the crushed glass And I will put some more on top. This is just going to give me a little bit more texture. And I'm going to let that set. And then I'm going to go in with the resin. So, wow, this is going to be very interesting. Well, this guy is already starting to, to set up a little bit. So I do want to go around with some of this glitter. Keeping with the, with the green theme. Because I want it quite shimmery and, you know, the gems are not that shimmery. So this glitter is going to help. And this is a really, really ultra fine holographic glitter. And the, the predominant color here is the green. It's like a lot, it's like a um, sage green. So that's already starting to look great. And once I pour in my resin, which I'm going to start mixing up right now because um, this stuff's starting to, to dry up already so that's pretty cool a lot's in the in the center and I will go and get some stardust actually I might just put stardust in my resin so all right I'll be back let's go and mix up some resin okay I mixed up my resin and now I am going to mix it with some stardust Glitz and glam, and you got to be very careful with this guy because this is such a super light pigment that will fly everywhere. So this is how I mix it. I just pop it in there and start stirring. And look at that. Just like stardust. So make sure it's all mixed in properly. So put as much or as little as you want, but this is this whole thing is going to be very, very glittery. And I think I put a bit too much. I get a little bit overexcited with this stuff. Alrighty, let's go. Um, I might leave that paper there actually. Put another one under there. I'll just put another one under there just for extra extra protection. And there we go. And then before it it sort of completely sticks to it, then I'll I'll move it. I'll remove it rather. Alright, let's go. Very gently. Just going over, see how shiny and shimmery that is. Oh my god, that's all you need, you guys. I'm just going to use my finger and dab it. Now this plaster is not completely set. Let's go inside first. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to have too much res. I might have to do something else with it. Maybe do a coaster or something.
Okay, so I reckon I might as well stay there, stay down. This thing doesn't want to stay down. Might have to play with it a bit. Might as well just go in with some clear quartz. And this is, these are really big. Some of them are quite big, actually bigger than this. And I've got them in the shop now. If you're, if you're looking for some, you can find them in the shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some and pop them here in the middle. Just like that. One on top of the other. And I will drizzle some more of this just to kind of hold it in place there. There you go, that's all that done. And I might actually get some more of this, um, what's it called, a uh, grey moonstone gem and just go around here as well, really gently. And in between that gold, and sort of just had a little bit here and there and everywhere. That's looking pretty cute. And now I'm just going to let it sit. So they're all going to be different. I already know what I'm going to do with the next one. I won't do it like this at all. I'm going to do something different. But let me see if I can get some more of this. And kind of just build it up here. See if it'll stay there. Now that the resin is there, might. I think that's what I needed to do. Or even bring these up and yeah, that'll work too let me get a little bit more gold just whack it everywhere a little bit oh that's a big piece i don't want a big piece like that oh no it's all stuck it's all sticky. Here's what I'm going to do. There you go. Look at that. Just a little bit. Not too much. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to let it sit and leave it alone. And I shall be back when I think that, yeah, I'm not even, I might just spray it a little bit with alcohol. That's all. Just for the bubbles and, and then that's it, that's it. Good morning, it is the next day. And I'm just going to... Doesn't look too bad, does it? Oh, very interesting, just peeling off this paper, off the back. I'll put you over there for now. It is very interesting i think so yep everything is wow that is pretty solid and heavy like i said very heavy but let's see if i can get you a close-up the sparklies i think it's mainly that glitter and the glass that's sparkling Okay, I like it. So let me know what you think. This will be the number one. And I might do a few more um, because this one is the way it is. It's not everyone's color, I know. But I like it. It just reminds me of like an old like rock with all these gems in through it. So that's... Um, it's going to be number one so hopefully in the next day or so i'll be able to do a few more and then i'll do a really speedy video of that and putting them all together so stay tuned you guys i hope i've given you an idea to do something and save your canvases so you don't throw them out <laughs> uh, if anything like me you'd hate throwing things out you don't have to unless you can gift it to someone that's that's a good thing but not everyone wants what you have you know all righty 
Bye for now, you guys. Bye.